today I'm going to be doing uh, my first episode of Back to Back with Billy. So I wanted to do something where it's like a podcast, but instead of listening, you're watching and I'm going to have a DJ with me. I'm going to be doing it quite regular and we're just going to be literally going back to back, playing tunes, having a little chat about everything and anything music related and anything else as well. So yeah. Today for my first guest, I have chosen Ian Longer. Hi. Right, so I have known Ian for, how long have we known each other for? Put me on the spot here, Bill. Uh, I'm going to be putting you on the spot Hang on, for the so whole time. How old time. are you now? Do you want to say that um, on camera? How old are you? Do you know what? No, I you're know. asking me. You can't I, do that. I'm I asking you. I actually want to know how old are you. I feel like with Ian Longo, right, we listen to him on the radio <laughs> all the time. We see him, but we don't, you don't really know much about yeah. me. See, I'm quite open on Instagram. Everyone knows me and, like, stuff about me and <laughs> seeing stuff and whatever. But I like with you, life, you, you know it, me? even though you're so, like, you are like everyone knows you, but you you are a private person yeah, as well, aren't you? I am, yeah. So go on, how old are we? I'm uh, I, I'm gonna hesitant to say this. Go on, have a guess. I I'm gonna say about 35, 36, because you went to school with my brothers. Oh. So what? So 35 <laughs> or 36? 37. Oh my god! Yeah, 37, I am. Oh my yeah. god! Um, so I'm 31. <laughs> so we there. So, so we know each other from years this ago. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So you're 31. I'm not that good at maths, but. <laughs> I met you when you was about 14, 15, was it? Is that what it was, yeah? Something 14, like that. I yeah. think that's how old you was, yes. How many was years it? is that? Um, so I don't know, I'm not really good at the maths. Okay, but so anyway, 31 to 15, so 16 time. years ago. Too long? 16 years ago, yeah. So <laughs> um, I met you on your first night in town yeah. when I was DJing. <laughs> I was DJing at Society at the time. And the promoter come into me and went, right, we've got this young girl starting tonight. She's boss, she's dead, like, enthusiastic. She, oh, she's... where's DJing though, wasn't no, it? You went, no, you were, like, doing, like, flyers and stuff like that, promotion work no, and all that. No, I was a dancer. I oh, was a dancer? Yeah, it was right. dancer. Okay. So, anyway, the should, promoter goes... Should we play a song while we're doing this? Yeah, go on, let's play a tune, right, right. so we'll start with this. Right, so, so go anyway, on. back to the story, yeah, the yeah. promoter says to me, we've got this new young girl starting tonight. She's boss, she's dead enthusiastic, she's dead lively, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, right, sound, happy days, whatever. And then walks Billy, and I was like, I know her, I knock about with her brothers. We're from, we're from the same <laughs> yeah, old one. Yeah, from you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, well, that makes it a bit easier. I know her, and don't yeah. know you properly, but I know of you, and I yeah, know yeah, your yeah. mum and all the rest, and your brothers and all that. Yeah. So that was your first night in town, anyway. It was. Yeah. Didn't end well. <laughs> well, let you tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, when I was like, uh, so. In my head, right, I always wanted to be a DJ, but yeah. I used to do dancing as well. So I thought in my own head, I'd love to dance in a club in town. Yeah. And I've been going out and I've been to society a few times, so I'm dead aware of you and that. Yeah. And I don't even know how, um, what was the promoter, Emil? Emil, yeah. Emil, so um, I don't even know how I managed to get his number or what I pestered the life Did out you? of Emil. Yeah. <laughs> I want to dance what? in the club, I want to dance in the club. <laughs> I don't even know why he kept on answering the phone to me. Yeah. It was that long. I don't even think I had a mobile phone at the time. I remember sitting <laughs> on the house phone upstairs and just just pestering the life out of him. And in the end, he gave in. I don't even know what how or why. Because I was like 14. Like, yeah, he was come quite along. nice over it, to be honest. He could have just not answered the phone. But he did anyway. <laughs> um, so I danced in society when I was like 15. Yeah. That's just, and that. That's just nuts, you know. I know, I know. But look at the 15 year olds now. I know, yeah. Do you it's know crazy. Mean? Isn't like, it? You wouldn't get kids doing that now, would you? Fifteen year olds like pestering the promoter to like mm. kind of dance in the club. Yeah, no, no, no. You definitely wouldn't get that no. now, like. Um and then But yeah, so anyway. So go on. So I was like giving it the bifters all night like that, having a ball dancing and stuff. And what what had happened was I picked someone's I picked someone's bottle of water up and it definitely had sort of minute, hundred oh, percent. Because next minute I just couldn't stop throwing up. And like at the time, I was only young. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I didn't. I wasn't a big drinker. Or not not yeah. that I'm a big drinker now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but back then. Yeah, so back anyway, then. Emil. I can remember that. So yeah, all that happened, and then Emil comes to me and was like, "You're gonna have to give her a lift home." And I was like, "I was like, I was in a bad way. I was throwing up." But I could bear in mind, I like knock about with her brothers, new and mum and all, and I was like, "This just looks pure dodgy. Like I'm bringing this girl home." <laughs> in, a, in an absolute state, <laughs> and I'm driving it on, so this looks like, like I've that. done this to you. <laughs> I was so like anyway. that in the passenger seat. <laughs> Did I give a lift over, and I was like, yeah, I like to see you later, out the door to that. <laughs> like, how am I going to explain <laughs> this to your brothers tomorrow, do you know what I mean? But 
that was how I met Billy anyway. Yeah, so that's all how we know each other. You know I mean? But I was always aware of you anyway. So today, what I've said is, get you get like ten tunes from Society that I love and you love, yeah. and we're just going to play them back to back. So this one is Milk and Sugar would stay around, and this was a massive Society tune all them years ago, and it's just a staple tune from that era, and yeah. we love it. And that's it. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Good. Okay. Were you into like the tunes and all that back then as well? Okay. In days, you know what I mean? Or was you was you just wanting to be like an entertainer and all that? Um. Well, I've always grown up in like a performing, performing, dancing, doing yeah. dancing and all that. So my mum used to go like the 5 one and everything. Mm. So she always constantly had like Lee Butler and yeah. Dave Graham and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, on. Yeah. So and she just had them on constantly. So I was aware of, like Duke so in love with you all and all that. stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But this next song that I am gonna play. Um. The first time like I kind of heard like funky house music and that was my mum coming with a CD from The Masons and it was a new The Masons was a pub in Old Swan. That's how I know your mum as well by the way. Yeah, from, from, yeah, from the Masons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my mum comes in with a CD from the Masons and she's got it on all the time. Now, um, I was used to her playing like 051 music, like a bit, a bit like faster, faster than and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was like a different kind of music. And I'd never put where she played the CD over and over again. I started to get used to the songs. And this song was on the CD. And it's a proper tune. And it just kind of not like guided me into like a different, fun, yeah, yeah, so, different kind of, of yeah. music yeah, yeah, instead yeah, yeah. of like the fast stuff. So nice. Good work, yeah, I'll get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know, we've got a break coming up now, so... Just mix it in, yeah. Just go for it, innit? Yeah. It's a little bit soon. Yeah. <laughs> See you in there. It is, it's really good. This song, this song reminds me of you. It reminds me of me a long time. Yes, because obviously it was on that CD. See, it's always good to find out what people think of the tunes that remind them of me, yeah, you know what I mean? Because yeah. I've got tunes that remind me of like nightclubs and certain places, but it's good to know like you, this reminds you of me, yeah. you know what I mean? Wait there, it's going to kick in now. That was not the best mix, but woo! Tune is. Holy <laughs> Ghost, Superman. So I remember this tune years ago, either on vinyl, because we used to mix on vinyls, not these things. If you don't know what vinyls are, oh, yeah. your nan probably had them years ago. So. <laughs> that's, what I, that's, that's what I was going to get onto. So while you mentioned vinyl then, yeah. so I learned on vinyl. Did you learn on like normal vinyl or belt drive? I learned, or? I got a set of belt drive decks when I was 16. So anyone who doesn't know what belt drives are, because I don't really know what they are, yeah. explain what belt drives so belt, are. So years ago there was like, two sets of decks you could get, you could get belt drive or direct drive mm. and belt drives were like the cheap version that like right, okay. you'd start on like a yeah. learner version and you'd um, progress there... on to like better ones basically do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But years ago in the, the Liverpool Echo you used to have a section called the best seller, do you ever remember that? No. Oh my in god, people used to have, yeah. yeah people, <laughs> people used to sell things in the, in the, the back of the Echo called the best seller. I feel dead old. It was like yeah. Facebook Marketplace of today. <laughs> And I've seen an advert, I used to look every week at the musical instrument section. <laughs> and they had some, someone was selling a set of decks in Anfield, and I was just mad at my mum to death to get me them. She got, me got them, so I was like 16. So we went down, seen them, I was just like, yeah, I don't want them. Didn't How even much care. was it? 150 remember? quid, do you know? <laughs> But that was about 500 quid now, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah. Anyway, gets them. And that was it, just was on them every day, but practicing why, and... Why did you want to be a DJ? Like, what what, what made you want to... Uh, it just, was when, when I was younger, even younger again, when I was about 13, 14, 
I used to go to a place called The Venue. Do you remember The Venue? Yeah. No, I think, are you too it, young for that? No, on in Green Lane. Green Lane, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a nightclub in the middle of Tubebrook in Green <laughs> Lane, which you'd never get that now anyway, but it was an under 18s and um, I used to go there and while my mates were like trying to get birds and all that, I was just like at the head of the DJ box going. What's he doing? What's 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 he doing? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Who was DJ at the time? Do you remember? I can't remember the names of the DJs back then. Like, no. but I was just like banging into the tunes. I used to like li listen to like the 051 and radio tape that, tape the paradox, all stuff like that. And I, while we were out knocking about when we were younger, I'd have like a tape player with me, like a Walkman. Yeah. Just with the tunes on and the headphones while they're all like getting bevied and smoking and all that. I just have the tunes on. Do you know Amazing. what I mean? So. That's it, yeah, that's how I got into it and it just went yeah, from there, do you know what I mean? Just learning every day and that was it, basically, okay. do you know what I mean? So. What's your next tune? Uh, this is a tune, yeah, I'll mix it in for you now. Here we go. See if you remember this. This is another tune that reminds me of society. This is like another staple tune. Yeah. That I just used to love. I had it on vinyl. Loved it. You'll know it soon as you hear it. Because I don't really play these all the time you, when I hear them. I'm yeah. like, oh, it just takes me right back, do you know what I mean? But obviously if you still play them all the time, I, it's not like it's not much for you, do you know what I mean? Because you're playing them all yeah, the time. I know so. what you mean. I, do you know what? My leggings keep falling down. I'm going like that, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this is a proper society tune for me. My and Billy as well, because she still plays it. I still play this now. Pick another one. What's a tune that reminds you of me? Another one. Yeah, I've got one. Oh, oh yeah. Go for it. The fold of fold. Big stalker. Big trying to get yeah. longer. <laughs> I reckon when you see this one, you're gonna go. Yeah. Tell you what, then. I won't look. No. I won't look. This one, you get it on. I want to see your reaction. Yeah. Go on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I won't look for what she's doing. Okay. Can I turn that? There's a way I can turn the screen. Oh, no, it's, no. In fact, I'll just. No, it's all right. Just go like that. You know it. No, yeah, 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 so you can't see. I'll have to manually beat Max now. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't like this. <laughs> this isn't like the um, the the mix from years ago, but it's similar. Okay. But it's still it's, it's still a tune. Yeah. It's like this. I'll just start mixing it now. <laughs> so he's just he's just left the effects button on. He's done that on purpose. Well, a proper DJ would know what to do. Oh! Don't you? <laughs> I know this, yeah. This is a tune. Oh my god, he's the hammer this tune. Yeah, this, this is, is a proper tune. This is this, another yeah. Ian Longo Society tune. What was it called? Ah, Waterman. Oliver Bosowski, Waterman. Yeah, yeah, I remember it. This was a tune. Wasn't this mixed up when it was a tune? No, we're in this mixer now. I was a bit unorganized. That's unorgan. not I remember it, yeah. yeah. Play this on vinyl all the time. You know what? I proper love that era, you know. Of like. So this is why I've, I've decided to choose you and do this music as yeah. the first, because this is my probably my best era yeah. of music. I remember like Definitely. I used to go to like the 051 and there was another club called Heaven years ago. Yeah. And it was like what well, you were saying, like the 051, dead fast, dead like yeah. heavy and all that. Yeah. And then that transition where I went to society, I never forget the first night I went to, well, the first night I got in society. I used to go every week. The dormer had knocked me back. 
every week without fail. We just collect them <laughs> off for you, lad. Where's the toilets and all that? Do you ever remember that when you go to nightclubs yeah, yeah, and the yeah, door and go, been here before? Yeah, where's the toilets? And you'd be like, I haven't been, mate, just let me in, do you know what I mean? But anyway, <laughs> so getting into like how I got into all this, I come one night from the 051 and I was always like, I'm dying to try that society, I want to know what it's about and all that. Yeah. And he wouldn't let me in for weeks, and I just kept. When he knocked me back, I'd just be like, "All right, mate, son, get off, whatever." Was this when you were DJing there? Or no, not? no, this was like when just I was just started going out, out, yeah. And um, so they, they, they used to knock me back every week, and then this one week, the dorm went to me, he went, so "You've been here every week, and every time we've knocked <laughs> you back, you've just walked away. You yeah. haven't given us no grief. You've yeah. just got off." And so I'm going to give you this one chance tonight. This is your chance to get in. And if you do anything, you'll never get in again. And then I got in and that was it. Just yeah, like, I was just like, oh. that feeling I got from when I first went like to the 051 and all that, I got it again in there. And it was just like another like, oh, wow factor again of like the tunes, the, the club, the people. It was just bosh, you yeah. know what I mean? And then like, I just switched from that to that then. I remember my first time going to society as a nightclub at night when I was dancing. Yeah. And like, I was just, Amazed by it. It was, it was a, a special, like, innit? Is it because I was younger and I was first going out? Like it's, it's probably kid. because you've you discovered something new, whereas now like you've it, done everything. You've done yeah. this area, you've done the Scout House area, you've done IBC, you've done all I've that. Done Do you I've know done what everything. I've done everything. Not on now. Wow, it's me. There's not. I don't think there's nothing new that could come out now that you'd be like, ah, oh, it's unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So all every every area of everything was always something new. So you don't, you're blown away by like this sound and all that, do you know what I mean? I know, but like even the kids going out now, do you reckon they go out to the club and go? <sighs> probably, oh yeah, they probably have a little Dude, bit yeah. of like... I'd love that, you know, yeah, I'd love to do that again. because we're like, but I don't know, do you know what I mean? Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself, right? Another like, tune to you. Like, okay, um, see, I wanna, yeah. I wanna close my eyes and not see it. Oh no, I just got luck actually. All right, let me just find. Ah, okay. I know. Here's a tune. So this is another tune. This is the original. It's been resung and redone about four times. Oh, no, oh, but this was like a proper society tune. Like the girls used to like proper love this one. Okay. Really. I'm not looking anywhere. I don't know what it is. <laughs> And now I'm like that sorry, like a to sing it. Where's my mic? I haven't got one, but <laughs> I'm using my lip gloss. Ah, we can. You know it now, don't you? <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. This again, this is one of them tunes that was like, yeah, every, is... every week a new tune would come out in society and you'd just be like, another one. Oh my God, another tune. And yeah. it's just it every was. week, you know what I mean? It was. <laughs> questions now. Yeah, that's fair. So, obviously we went right back to like society in 051 and all that when, when I first was going out. So, did you start going out around that time or had you been anywhere before that? What clubs and that have you been to? You know I, mean? um, I used to go to the piano bar. Right, I used to play in there as well. Darby Lane, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I used yeah, to yeah. play in there, yeah, on yeah. a Friday. Piano bar and Darby Lane was yeah. like when my mum first started letting me go out. Yeah. And then, so what happened was, I used to work in a hairdresser's in Old Swan called Avant Garde, mm -hmm. and they were all a lot older than me, mm. and they always used to have like CDs the tunes on, on, the tunes yeah. on, and they'd go out every year, um, <clears throat> they'd go out every Saturday night. So you DJ'd on a Friday at Scent, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. I used to go to the Saturday to the High, high Society. High Society. Yeah, high that, society that was, well, that go. was actually, that was the new society. I started with um, Duke's yeah, Fleet Street. Oh, yeah, yeah, Fleet yeah, yeah, yeah. Street. Oh, but yeah, that I, was still just as good as well. Oh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about Duke Street. Duke Street, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so society, I used to go to society on a Saturday. Yeah. Literally, like, I'd get paid 
by fifteen pounds. I used to get paid fifteen pounds a day for uh, working in the hairdressers, and then my mum would give me like a little tenner as well. So I'd be like, at me twenty five quid, like yeah, Buzzing. go out. I'd like buy because we had a big drinker then, so I'd buy one blue WKD or something. Like I'd all night when we drink. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. um, so we did. That what you just asked no, me? No, so said. So where's like, where did you? <laughs> oh yes. Yeah, so where was your like, where was your going out? You know, like for you when you were younger. Um, it was society, piano, piano, piano bar, bar, then the society, and yeah. like we used to go to bar red a lot. Yeah. Um, okay. So I remember yeah, that area, yeah, yeah. Garlands every now and again, yeah. but even me, I'd be dead scared to go to Garlands because it was so shit. Yeah. Like you couldn't me. get in. Then clubs back then, it was like. It was dead hard, like I was saying about society. Even going to Garland, you, you, you couldn't get in. Like, you wanted to get in that bad. You made it that, like, you made it that, what, what's the word? Like, like that hard to get in. Like, you just, you needed to get in when you spoke to people who'd been there. Yeah. And they'd tell you how good it was. You'd be like, I need to get in. Yeah, yeah. No. You'd be so nervous, you'd be dead nervous. Yeah, dead nervous. nervous. Like, you'd be like, standing like, there, like, 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 we're like, now you just, like, you know, just, just like, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get what I mean now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so then, so you went all in clubs, so then what happened, what was like the transition into like doing nights and doing events and sin and, and all the rest of it? Where did all that come from? Oh, that come, ye that come years later. Obviously I was chatting, like when I first started going out, I wasn't DJing properly at, the mo mm. th at that time. Then I started DJing bit by bit by bit yeah. and then progressively, um, 2000, like that was, when was society like what? Two sheets, 2003, yeah, 2004, yeah, so I didn't like that. really start doing my events until like 2009, 2010, really, yeah. Yeah. yeah because that, that, that time I was just like building myself yeah, up, yeah. flying, yeah. working for the clubs, um, promoting, yeah. standing on concert square. And then that's what, I, that's what I remember Billy as, like when, when yeah. people say to me, oh, that Billy smashed in Dubai, I'm like, yeah, but like, you don't know where I know from years ago, yeah. like standing in Compton Square, Square, giving flyers but out. Do you know what? I, I think that's Boston, though, because it's gone now. But I loved it, though. it, it really I mean? even a job, yeah. like, yeah. I did, I got paid for that, but I was just happy to do it, yeah. I was absolutely buzzing doing it. Because you want it to be bad, it, it, it? Loved it. Um, this song that I'm going to put on next. This is a tune, this by the way. This song introduced me to like that you can still have amazing songs with no words. With no words, right. So okay. I used to go, when I used to go to society, obviously you'd know all the songs because the words and that, but this song always used to come on. Wait there a minute, or oh, one sec. So this song used to come on and I'd be like, this hasn't got no words in. But it's but a proper tune. It's yeah, and yeah, it's amazing yeah, yeah. and it doesn't even need words. So. Oh, again. <laughs> Right, okay with this. Yeah. So this is and this is my favourite song ever. Oh. <laughs> I thought this was gonna drop. <laughs> but this one, like you said though, this tune was like it didn't have to have words. I mean don't the words get me wrong. were dun 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 you'd sing you'd yeah. sing the tune. Dun, Do you know what I mean? That was the words, were not it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean the, the one with Kathy Brown, Stronger yeah. I Love That as well. I love that as well, that come a bit later, but I always find with tunes like this, he didn't have to bring a vocal out on it. Mm. It could have been just, this as, is, just as good without it, you know what I mean? This well, is it good was, enough. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourite remix to this, though? This. Is this, it? This, yeah, the I'll, Danny Carver one, yeah. I like this one, but have you heard this? the Martin 10 album one? Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah that one a bit later on, didn't it? Slow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a slow one. I like that one as well, but. Right, let's see what I can like. I'm going to pick a tune now, now oh, no, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pick a tune from when I was on Juice. Right, okay. Them, them yeah. days. Let's see. Okay, so. But in keeping with sort of this era as well. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. Can, can you tell me how you come onto the radio? Like what happened? Did someone offer you yeah. there? Or? So, again, so with um, the radio. Yeah, you're making me think here. Yeah. So Put me on the spot here. Yeah. You started on Juice FM? <laughs> yeah, started so, on Juice FM. So yeah. how did that come about? So how that come about was, um, they'd done a competition. It was like years before, like, it, Juice was big then, but it weren't like as big as it was, you know, yeah, like when it was massive, was do you know what I mean, at the time. Yeah, it was good. And they'd done this, com they were doing this competition where they wanted to find like a new presenter and all that. Oh really? Yeah, <gasps> but it wasn't like, 
I, I would have entered that. Thinking back, <laughs> I don't actually think they went ahead with it. Oh, I, don't, right. I, I don't think they went ahead with it, but anyway. So me and my mates used to work with years ago. Don't speak to him no more, yeah, so I'm yeah, not yeah, going yeah. to mention no names. I know, I, <laughs> I know you mean. Yeah. So we went as a double act to, to juice, yeah. like to, to go in together and like do this radio show of like me and him sort of bouncing off each other. At the time, who was on juice? Who was At like the, the time, big then, radio it was like DJs. Les Calvert, Dave Whelan, uh, Dave Graham. Huey? Remember Huey? No, Dave and Huey? He, he, he just left. Oh, I right, think he okay. just left and it was and then Anton was Anton Powers oh, come yeah. on the scene and all that. Um so yeah anyway, so we went for this competition thing as a double act. We had to do like a, an audition and all the rest of it. Yeah. But it, it they loved us but they never went ahead with the competition. So they were like, right, we want to offer you a show. <gasps> Amazing. But we've got nowhere to put you, so there's no like room on the lineup and all that. Yeah. So I was like, oh nightmare. So that never happened. And then I fell out with this lad, never never carried on as like a double act together. Yeah, yeah. But I still like I was knocking the door down at juice like like you was with a meal. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah, like yeah. that to them. Yeah. Constantly like, you know, if anything comes up or yeah, 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 whatever. Um so then eventually I'd done another demo for them. Yeah. And they, they said, um Gary, the fellow at the time, he said, um, I can't offer you not on the same situation. There's no room on the line up. I can't give you nothing, so yeah. I was like, right, okay, if anything changes, just bear me in mind, yeah, so I'm whatever. I was in Alton Towers, right? Yeah. Just about to get on the, just the ride. <laughs> the oblivion. Something like that, some mad ride like that. My phone rings, it's like, weird, who's that? So I was like, hello. They're like, hi Ian, it's Gary from Juice, and I was like, Sick. just about to get on this ride, do I get on it all? Like, what do I do? So I was I like, right, like it. that, so I just come back, and I was like, how are you, mate? Yeah, you're all right, so like, listen, yeah, um, I know we, we spoke last time, and I said there's nothing I can do for you, but something's come up, I want to bring you on, I want to put you on a Tuesday night, I'm going to move Dave Whelan to the Saturday, yeah. and you're going to take his slot if you want to do it, and I was like, oh my, oh my god, it was word. like, it was sick at the time, do you know what I mean, and then... Do, do you think if you listened to yourself on your first, because did you go live at first? No, it was pre called pre the first, pre yeah, yeah. But do you think, like, um, if you listen back then to now, would you go, oh my god, oh like, was it yeah. a bit like... like Hi, I do that like from last week. I listened to myself last week and go, oh, that's terrible, that's what I mean. But back yeah. then, yeah, it was like, I'd never done anything to do with like radio or talking on a mic or nothing like that. Yeah. So it was more just for like the music, because back then, Juice was like, it was known for its music and like yeah. upfront music and all that. Yeah. And I just wanted to be like a DJ on the radio, doing what a, a set yeah. on the radio, yeah. do you know what I mean? I didn't realise that there was more like, the talking aspect of it, and yeah. you, you only play shorter versions of the of the songs on the radio, all that. But uh, yeah, that's that's all, that's all that, got into it. And, that's that. and now you're on in demand. In demand radio, yeah. Every Saturday, six o'clock to eight. Yes. <laughs> 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 and that's just like that's all house music. Yeah. So again, that's it's sort of like because when Juice was massive, and then it got bought out by Capital, and it went yeah. shit. By the way. Yeah, but, uh, just went like yeah. just <laughs> we all got like a normal rate. We yeah, all got yeah. fucked off from it. But when shy. Um, yeah. yeah, it's but sort of lost. Demand, it's like lo all, the, all the local radio juice and all that. It was dead local and then when they got bought out it went shite and it lost that local feel. Yeah, of course. So 100%. in the man's come along. And especially now in this lockdown, it's Look, come along and it's just it's perfect. It's like it's a breath of fresh air, it is, you know yeah, what I mean? So it is. it's sort of gone back in its roots a little bit, but doing it like a fresh take of it, do you know yeah. what I mean? So it, it's, it's no, dead good. It is. If you haven't listened to it, get it on, it's dead good it in the man radio. I come into your show the other day. Wait, there, put another song on, because the song's running out. Do you want me to do it? Go on. Well, right. yeah, it's your go. Okay. Uh... We are going back to back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah right, let's do it. Let's see. Right, let's see. I've, I've got like little notes that I want to, just don't want to forget anything. <laughs> I know. Ooh. I know. He's got one for us. I know. Let me just find it. I love this part of the song. This part of the bit. You know this one, don't oh, you? <laughs> everyone knows this, and I still play this now. <laughs> see, I don't play this now, you, but it's a tune. See, it, you you know play, me? you play like a different kind of style to it. You paint very, very new music. Yeah, I like because at the time when this was all new, I was playing all this, yeah. and then 
I'm just I still love classics, you know what I mean? I'll throw you off there. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I, listen, every DJ set I do, I pull a classic out. Like, you've got yeah. it, do you know what I mean? But I, I wouldn't say, like, I'm not, like, dead up front, but I just like... You like new, playing like breaking really new stuff. New. I like to try and find a new classic, what might be a classic, you yeah. know what I mean? Something like that kind I of get thing. that, but with me, right, it takes me ages to like to, a song. Right. Like, I'll, I'll listen to, I'll hear the odd song straight and go, oh my god, I love that. Yeah. But more times than ever, they have to grow on me. Grow on you, yeah, right, um, right. So, like, when I hear a song for the first time, I can... Do you think that, is that, would you say that's sort of, like, because, like, when you're in your events, they're, like, you, you're high energy, aren't you? Like, Very big classics high. and yeah. big vocals like bang, and all bang, that. Bang, bang, is bang. that because... You're sort of used to that, you think, or...? No, right, I am very scared when I'm DJing of that dance floor going right, empty. Right, I see what you mean, So yeah. if, I, if I play a song that no one knows, I am scared of people going... Oh, I tried this. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going yeah. to the toilet or I'm yeah. going to the bar. I, I, I just get, get that, that nervous. Yeah. So that's why, as me as a DJ, I quick mix, play yeah. big tunes, what everyone knows yeah. and sometimes like there's other songs that I would like to play yeah. but I just think this I think crowd would know that well, song so I think as well the radio comes into it a lot where I'm getting to like break tunes on the radio yeah where yeah, it's yeah, you yeah. might hear on the radio and go that's a tune yeah so that I think that's another reason why yeah. it's like that, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, because you, you play new songs and then you'll play them the week after, yeah, week after. Yeah. so and people listen to them, them yeah, yeah, and yeah. getting used to it. But what I do as well if I play like a brand new tune and it's like totally obscure to everyone. Yeah. I'll then drop something like this to, to make up to, for yeah, it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> if it doesn't work, yeah, if you all get off the dance floor, I'll put something else on. Do you know what I mean? So, of course, um, we'll pick another one. I'm going to pick another one. I want to see your reaction. Let me just see when, right? No effects. Well, no, no effects. No effects. Effect I'm not going to do that, yeah. yeah. I've been DJing with Ian before <laughs> when um, Robert first, Robert McParland, yeah. he first started DJing. And bless him, like, you know, he's, he's new to it. Yeah. And you, you start <laughs> going, like, you'll pressing be DJing, and, and then that. they just start yeah. pressing buttons and just messing up. I love it, and like I said, I'm, I'm just a bad, like, when I get something like these decks, I just want to figure out what like what does all these buttons do and what does that do if you press that and Yeah, you like love that. your gadgets. Yeah, so I love yeah, all that. Love so gadgets. You are just a, very, te a very technical. Very technical. Probably in the city, the best technical. Well, the best DJ. She said it, not me. No, no, I'm, I'm just being nice. <laughs> nice one. No, yeah, nice one. No, uh, listen, I do. DJ, I like to, I like to do all the loops and acapellas and hot cues and all the rest of yeah. it. I love all that, you know what I mean? That side of it, not just like mixing track yeah. to track, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what I like um, to. who was better technically, you or Mick Willow? Oh, come on. Ah, you come can't on. put me on the spot here. Go on. I'm going to say we're both the same. Oh, yeah. Because there's that. things I've taught Mick and, and there's things he's taught me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, like, Mick, Mick is very like me in terms of, like, he'll find something out on the decks and be like, have you seen what that button does? Yeah. And I'm like, no, let's, let's see. And I'm like, oh my God, that's unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? So we kind of bounce off each other like yeah, that. That's, that's why, us. like, he's like Mick, is like the old Mick Willow sort of, I'd say, he's one of the only DJs who I had, like, feel dead comfortable with behind the decks and just, yeah. just it just I know it's gonna like you know I don't have to work. see what he's gonna play he doesn't have to see what I'm gonna play it just works yeah. you know what I mean so yeah, yeah he's quite close like that anyway as well as just... Billy as well I can play with Billy all the time <laughs> <laughs> that <Hello>. doesn't sound <laughs> play with Billy on the decks <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there we I'm go. I'm on the wee now. <laughs> Getting a bit off of here. <laughs> right, there we go. Wait there, I'm going to put, put the music on. <laughs> I'm going to wait there, wait there, wait there. Oh. Sad Billy Clements in the mix. You know him? Uh huh? You remember this? Don't you? Know. This is mine. You and me? No. Oh, this like, is okay. just like a tune, like a society oh, right. tune. I probably remember when I come to. Come on, are you ready for this? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually a tune. 
tune, baby. Sorry, Barney. Because I've got that many tunes and I haven't heard them for ages, I forget what the star sounds like. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a tune, man. <laughs> right, so we're there. What? Right, so getting on to this. Right, oh. with the anti back. Um, I made the hand gel. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ian Longo has been using hand gel before anyone before this pandemic. I don't even want to talk about that anyway. Just yeah, right no, now, not but at all. no, 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 don't. forget about that. Um, so you've been using this. I remember <laughs> you've been out to your day when you're like Latin about two years ago. Yeah. And I was like, with this. I do remember this. Yeah, to tune this. <laughs> I just love this part of the time. <laughs> Yeah, just forget about the what we're doing here. Just like, just love this bit. Okay. That's the send me this one. Well, send me this. Yeah, I will yeah. do. Bob Sinclair. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you I've never been. Yeah. You, I, he's never. Everyone knows about Ian Longo. He does not send tunes. I do. If you ask, because people just expect like. I'll just go with our interior no, box. Can you ask me? I'll send you it. I don't need to ask no more. All oh, right, so I'll be doing it then. You know, oh, yeah. years ago. The, the, the big share. DJ, you know. Ah. Yeah, he's not the dancer no more, no. Ah. See, this is what does me head in, right? Everyone, like, no. when people go, oh, Billy, she's this, and, like, I'm made up. She's like, you've smashed it. Like, oh, yeah. you've, I'm made up with what you've done. But, like, I know you as, like, you're just Billy to me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and, like, when people get, like, I'm like, it's boss, but I'm like, it's just Billy. It's just. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, you're just Billy. No, it's no, just, I'm not just Billy. She is just Billy. I'm She's Billy. just Billy. I'm DJ Billy Clements. I'll have him, you know. <laughs> well, See? to me, she's just my Billy. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, oh. Hello. Um, right, so, oh, yeah, so. So, we have back to the story. But, yeah, so. <laughs> it's so just Ian, Billy. <laughs> so, Ian, um, so I was like, what's that? Hand sanitizer? Why? The same one is just all over the decks yeah, on these, so I'm just like, like cleaning my hands. But do you know what, right? Ian Longo <laughs> is immaculate, and I mean immaculate. And I think everyone knows, like, <laughs> and you'll never see him with like, like, I like. Dirty trainees, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are they can dirty? We, can we do like a close up? <laughs> is it. Oh, close up? That? <gasps> oh, oh. Yes, it is. That, I'm that is not that. like Ian Longo. Is everyone okay? You feeling <laughs> alright with that? Definitely oh, done that just on the day. way in. <laughs> so Ian, right? Clothes, um, trainees, like ever, you will not see a spot of it. Even before when he comes, <laughs> I could smell you down there. I know you I, did. Like, I could smell you. I can smell you. <laughs> I'm just like, you know what it is, right? He's I'm like just, immaculate. I'm dead paranoid about like smells and like, I don't know. Just like, I'm just dead paranoid about like. If anyone thinks, oh my god, he stinks, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. I think that's just what it is. No, it is. It, but it's nice, though. It's good, it's nice. <laughs> Who did your iron on? Me. Oh, do yeah, you? yeah, I do, yeah. And are you dead, yeah. like? Proper, like. Me. Like, <laughs> edge, big steamer and all that. So, I'll send you a picture of me iron when I get in to belt it. Top of the range. Proper steam iron, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right there, I think we're running out of song. Go on, is it my turn? Yeah, now? it's like, your so turn like, now. Like, um, do you remember? The iron. Go on. <laughs> Do you remember that we had the same jacket years ago? No, what one? Do you remember the white Dior leather one? No. Was it Dior? Was it? Yeah, remember it had, it was from Wade Smith. It was white, and this sounds mad. Was it Prada? White leather, it might have been. I, had, I was banging to like Prada years it ago. It was white leather, days. but like soft leather. It sounds mad, but it yeah. was, no, it was nice. And you <laughs> had it, and I had it as well. We had the Did same jacket. Did you get it because I got it? No, no. <laughs> well, did I get it because you had it? Probably. <laughs> I got it because someone was selling it, knock off. <laughs> yeah, then. I'm going to put it. It's still like a lot in it. It's <laughs> knock off. <laughs> but he oh. probably bought it for full price. Right, yeah, there's one for you. Don't look, don't look. See, mate. This is a remix of that. Again. This okay. is bad, this, because I haven't got the Get original, original version of this. Okay. So I'm going to play this one. Do you remember this? Don't look, don't look. I'm not looking. So this tune is from 2010, so it's 11 years old now. Okay. Let's see if you remember it. You ready? So as I said, this is a remix, it's not. The yeah. original, because I'm got my pen, and you're gonna, when I say I've got it, you're gonna go, why haven't you got that on your pen? Yeah, like, why haven't you got the yeah. original? Sometimes I hate to remix, you know. I, I like being the look at it. Yeah. Mom, like, that's what I was gonna talk about. 
talked to you about this is actually Ian Longo's song. Yeah, that's why I played it because, but I haven't got the original. How bad is that? Yeah, I've got my own original what, song on me. What remix? Is, on it. What remix is this? This is Ian Carey. Do you remember him? Years Ian ago. Carey, yeah, 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 Ian yeah, Carey yeah, mix, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. So you hit the big time with this song, didn't you? When we done this, yeah, it was good. It was good, like. Yeah. It was. <laughs> made yeah. a few quid off was this it, as well. Does it get the number? <laughs> yeah, I know. It got to the in Canada. It got in the top ten in Canada. Where Craig's from. Oh right, yeah. Because yeah, so. he was the singer of um, Summer Jam. Yeah. This yeah, ain't yeah. nothing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this tune, um, when I done this, I got in touch with Jay, Jay Wainwright. Yeah. Um, he used to send me tunes of what he was making, and I thought he was like a boss producer at the time, like what is Dead Currents at the time and all that. So I just said, look, do you want to get together and, and make something together? And he yeah. was like, yeah, definitely and all that. And then Craig was in Liverpool doing a live PA, Craig Smart, the singer. Yeah. And then uh, we went for a Nando's together. Mm. With um, we went, we went with us. There was me, Anton Powers, Craig Smart, and Jay come with us. Yeah. And we just got talking, swapped the emails and all that, and then we sent him the track, the original, of this version, the original. Didn't did, no one like stand? It sounds like it sounded like another song. Do you remember? Uh, it, what, it was what, a Kelly uh, Rowland yeah, and David Guetta one. Copied it off that. Yeah, I uh, thought that, that you know. What was it called? Um, when love takes over. Yeah. That was it. Was so, it? Was yeah, it when Love Takes Over? Love takes over yeah. I remember listening to it thinking, that little sounds, sounds a little bit, like bit that, yeah. similar so, to that. We did copy it, I'm not going to lie now. Like, got no means to lie now. No, we did copy it, you know what I mean? You took inspiration <laughs> from it. Oh yeah, I took inspiration, Inspire? but we copied it anyway. Um, yeah, but you still done well with it, didn't well, you? So. I'll tell you another thing, what we copied off, it wasn't, we, we took two tunes, right? Yeah. And, and do you remember um, Apologise by... Yeah, um, Too oh, Late. Yeah, that, yeah. Too Late to Apologise. I remember it but anyway. We, we took... What did we do? I it, remember now. We copied them two. We, we, we made them, them tunes together, together yeah, and yeah, made that anyway. That, people listen to that and then it, it's it like... It sort of reminds you of that and that. And that, you know and then I mean? it's yeah, song, then, so yeah, so we familiar. done that and then we sent it to Craig and he was like, oh, I loved it. I loved the back and track. So I'm going to write something to it and that, that's what he came up with. So yeah. it was good. Yeah, that's good. Um, but when we when we signed you, the record to All Around the World, yeah. which is a record label, when we signed that, we went to um, when we went to the, the the office. Like I'd never been in like a a, a record label office or not, and I'd never seen any that side of it. it in Black, no, in Blackburn it was. Yeah. And um, so when we went in, the guys were like, "Oh, this is your song, blah blah." We were like, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." And he was like, "This is a number one hit." And we were like, "What?" We're like we we just made it, and it was just like. It was a good tune, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but they yeah. were like, oh my god, this song's unbelievable and we want to sign it, we want to do this, get a video. And we were like, we were, me and Jay were just sat there like, like what's going really on here, happening? do you know what I mean? Yeah, and then we went to, uh, we went to LA to film it, yeah, to film the video. Yeah, because you had the music yeah, video yeah. and everything, Went to America yeah. for one day. We flew into LA, one day. Why did you make a holiday out of it? I don't know, you know, we just went and yeah, yeah. Just, yeah just went over and then one day and then straight back and that was it. But nice. it was good, it was yeah. good, like, it was good. I am um, we're a big fan of the song. Oh. <laughs> I swung for that. I'm not a big fan of you. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned you. Thought everyone loved this shoe. No, it wasn't. When it came on then you just went, oh yeah, because of the church you know. Oh ah, I know why. What? I know why. I know why. You just told us before why. What you do just you mean? said before. Tunes have got to grow on me. <laughs> yeah. So did they grow or did they not grow on you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's growing on yeah. you. So, it was a big massive tune on the pill, but sometimes big, like, like you just don't. No, um, yes, you know, some, sometimes sorry, you don't like. Sorry for the honesty, yeah, I'm just saying. Nice one. Think some shite then, basically. Oh, as if, as if. I wouldn't have asked you today if I thought that at all. Uh, right, come on, what are you going to play now then? Where's this one from? Just around the society around the era again. again yeah. Yeah. It might not have been a tune that you might have played though. Because it's a it goes. But it no, it was a big tune. This is more like a bar head tune. Okay, so I'm gonna put this music up. Because this I love this. Might earn some money off this as well. Some PRS money. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. What's it called? Royalties? Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? It's mad. I didn't like Pretty Green Eyes either. Like when oh, it first came out, I didn't like it. I Pretty like it now. Eyes, but look at it there, no? <laughs> <laughs> 
smart. Smart. <laughs> I just, it's gonna kick him too. I know what it is already. In my arms? Yeah. Yeah, got it. That's another thing, like, as DJs, do you know, like, do you know, like, just off the beat sometimes? Yeah, what it when is? it's coming yeah. in, yeah. Or... This. Yeah, this is a tune, by the way. Milo. Yeah, in my arms, yeah. Milo, in my arms. Do you remember, top, do you top remember, of remember, remix. Do you remember, do you remember Top of Disco, though, like, how big he was, like, the tunes and all that, and then well, just, like, I, fell off the face of the earth? Well, I feel like that about Milo. True, yeah. Milo yeah, in same, my yeah. arms. Um, yeah. What was it? Pressure. Dr. Pressure. Dr. Pressure, yeah. And then he just. Destroy rock and roll. And then that was it. Yeah. Sorry, listen, sorry, listen sorry to Milo on top of this guy. Just killed you off. Listen to this tune. But yeah, this was a tune. They could be producing under different, like. You could be, yeah. Eliasus. Stout it, though. Still, like, not the royalty, yeah. probably. <laughs> <laughs> So I reckon tracking this song is like when Electro started coming out yeah, after the Funky House. See this 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 Bye. sort of era for me was like I was into it, but it was a bit like it was a bit cheesy some of it. Like that like you know like the noises and that I went yeah, into yeah. it. So yeah. I sort of stuck with the funky house a bit longer. But then like like EDM started coming in a bit after this, you remember that? No, obviously, uh. come on. Billy the EDM queen. EDM you know what queen. I mean? Still, still plays it. it, still plays it. And I you know when you play them, right? You've got some tunes that you play. And that I go, that's fucking boss that. It's good, you know what I mean? Yeah, like tongue, out, yeah. Tongue. Tongue's just like, tongue's oh, kit, like just proper tune in it, you know tune. what I mean? But when you play that, I, I would never play that now, but when you play it, I go, that's fucking boss yeah. still. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So there's some some EDM tunes that you can still get still away, get away with. Playing, with you. I still play playing. million voices. Yeah. I of also know, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like of massive, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's get another song. This song I'm gonna play, I'll just play it right because this is a song that no one could get hold of uh, in society days. You've had loads right? of songs like that? I was like a proper tune hall years ago, like, a tune geek. like bad for it, you know, like I had to have it. If, if like if a song was dead rare, I had to find it. Yeah. Like, I had to search everywhere, you know, and I found and this is a tune, this is one of them. Did you have it on vinyl? Yeah. Let me see if I have anything to... Don't even know if I know this one. You will. This is one of them, what I was saying, you might not know the name of it, but when oh, you're there, you're like, oh my god, yeah, you know. This was on a remember white labels in the middle with like no name yeah, on the yeah, vinyl. Yeah. This Wait, is one of them. Where did you find it though? Les Calvis originally played this. And like he used to ask him every week, what's that tune? He'd be like, oh, I can't tell you, can't <laughs> tell you. Or you'd get like the white labels and you'd, you'd like, we used to write our name on them, just like long out, they're big. So like, or if there was if there was a name on it, you'd scribble it out, just write your name. Yeah. And then this was one of them. And do you know what? I can't remember how I found out the name of it. Just like, oops, sorry. Uh, I just, I don't know, I don't know how far, I don't even know, but well, it's a tune, so yeah. I'm killing this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a proper, proper society tune, this. You must remember this. Do you remember this, yeah? yeah. It was one of them where you, you don't know the name yeah, of it, yeah, yeah, but you yeah. know the words, straight away, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, 
proper society as will remember this, you know what I mean? Yeah, I know, yeah, of course. <laughs> and when I got this, I was like, I have smashed life when I got over this, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you know what? I always think like people don't know these backstories of tunes. They just hear them and think, oh, that's a tune, but yeah. you don't realise like how hard we used to search for tunes and all that. Yeah, you know what I mean? Of course, now you can just go on, on the, the internet, internet and, and just get it. Search, on, you know what I mean? easy, but back yeah. then, like, I used to have to like email things and all that. Do you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you put get us off, you know. going off here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna wrap it up because we've we went over here. So yeah, we're well. doing like 45 and we're now yeah. on like 50 minutes. So okay, right, so. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll tell you what then. You pick now, if you can, another tune that reminds me you of me to oh, end it. Da, 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 da. And tell me why if you can think. If you can't, don't worry, but if you if you have got something. I think I played, I think I played no, no, them no. before. I know, okay. Should I pick one that reminds me of you? Yeah, 100%. Okay. Let's see. Is it in a society era now or is it? Kind of thing. It doesn't have to be. Uh, I'd like to see, yeah. Wait, hang on. When I play this, I reckon you'll be like, really, this reminds me of you? Yeah, for but it does. For sure, th this tune, right, how big it was, you you play, I remember you playing this well before it was bigger. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'll show you now. Yeah. Ooh. Don't look, don't look as well. I'm lost, I'm lost. Uh, I'm not looking. So as much as she always plays it safe, she actually did break a big tune. Don't look, don't look, don't look. look. Oh, look. Now, oh, okay. well, when I remember this tune, we were in Ocean in Ibiza. Right. And you played this. And at the time, because it weren't big, I weren't like, oh, what's that? Yeah. I just like knew it was like, oh yeah, Billy plays this. And then when it went massive, I was like, oh, I remember that. And Billy used to play that in Ocean, do you know what I mean? Is it, is it, is it old? Is it true? Yeah. Is it my Michael Palmer? No. no. No, this is, this is what I'm saying. This is why I think you might go, nah. But yeah. it just, it just, just reminds me of you, do you know what I mean? I want to think. But this is one of them that you'll know the beat as soon as you hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. But it does properly mind me of you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll follow the bus. Yeah. <laughs> the magician remix. Yeah. yeah. This right. is you to a T for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's and and that's what I'm saying because. Did it get off when you used to play it though, or not yeah. as much as it did? Not, not as much as it did when it went big, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. You used to play it and just be playing it like I just was just a tune you like. Yeah. Or maybe you did think it was massive. No, do, you know, do you know what it was? We're allowed to be living abroad, right? Yeah. Do you know all the Europeans? Yeah. That's been that's massive huge for them for, them, yeah. for years. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you get like Germans and Swedish people and that all the time going, Will you play it off alone? I don't know. And I'm like, yeah, okay. So yeah, that's how I play, knew it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. When, oh. That's what I was saying when you were playing it, and then when it went massive, you sort of like stopped playing it because you yeah. must have played it. I mean, you obviously I'm, did I'm play it again. But, but I was like, oh, I remember Billy playing that. And yeah. I used to, like, people were saying, have you got that new tune? I was like, that's not new. Yeah. Billy's yeah. played that like, for years, so, you know what I mean? So, now, so. It is very proper old, this song. But that is a tune anyway that yeah. reminds me of Billy. There you go. So I just wanted to see if you would like to participate in a thing. No, you can see I've got marshmallows here. Can we see how many marshmallows here? Longer can fit in his mouth. 
Go on. Yeah, we did. I'll go. Watch your ear, no. Go on. Go on. Oh, come on. I hate, you know what, right? I hate doing anything like this, you know? No stupid, like, games and... I'm just, it's just so not me, all this shit. <laughs> It's just so do you funny. know, Ian? Like, do you know what? That's typical Ian Longer thing to say. You are like a quite serious person, yeah, even though you're funny. Yeah, I'm funny, but you're like, funny, but it's you're only when you get to know me, I'm funny, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that but is I actually right. Any, you know, stupid games like, let's see how many marshmallows. I ate all that, but I'll do it because it's your podcast. For fuck's sake. <laughs> Go on. Ah! <laughs> I need to get tissue because at one point you're gonna you're gonna think Spit yeah. Them out, yeah. One sec. This is just a nightmare. This. <laughs> I love this reaction. <laughs> I hate this, you know. Honest to God, do you not but I, do no, it? I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not one. I'm not a bad party. People will do it, but <laughs> I just hate stupid games like this. It's just like what's the point? But I'll do it, come on. Because people might want to see how many marshmallows you can fit in your mouth, but you have to get one, what two, do? three. Do you want me to do it again? Yeah. Okay. One. Right, right down. One. Right. <laughs> one. How many have you done so far? One. 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 Okay. Yeah. So one. 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 <laughs> I can't do it. Uh, be sick. That's horrible. Why do people do stupid games like that? <laughs> Wait, no. How many did you do? I don't even know. I lost count. I reckon about five. Four, How many did you four. do? Four. That's horrible. I reckon that. I done about five. It's terrible. That. Um, and then I just wanted to do one more thing. It's Go. not a stupid game. Go. <laughs> It's, better, it's nothing to do with putting all that in your mouth, is it? Not right to, down, not to put nothing else in your mouth. Go on, <laughs> You'd be glad to know. Um, it's called They Saw That, okay? Go on. So I'm just going to hit you with They Saw That. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, this is like another stupid game. <laughs> I hate all this crap, you know? <laughs> go on. Ah, okay, so, you've got the man to meet Dead Dead fast, go on. Pizza or chips? Chips. Well, that wasn't fast. You probably thought Sorry, about that. Yeah, because it's pizza. I don't like pizza, so chips. <laughs> Should have thought that stage away, didn't you? Okay, you right there. Pizza or chips? Chips. EDM or techno? EDM. Avicii or Swedish House Mafia? Ah, oh, for Avicii for me. Dancing or DJing? Which? Dancing or DJing? DJing, obviously. S Society or Garlands? Society. McDonald's or Big King? Mackey's. Liverpool or Everton? Liverpool. Milk or water? Water. Dean Jones or Michaelis? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, what the hell? Dean, because he pays me wages, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Manch Sorry, Mick. Mansion or XL? Mansion. Uh, um, Sorry, XL as well. Boston as well. And that's it? Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. You put me on the spot at the end there, didn't you, Dean or Mick? <laughs> I was just coaching you. No, it's like, good, no, that, yeah, like, like that. It's good, that. Um, yeah, okay, so that's our first episode over. I hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed that. Thank nice you very one much, Ian. Well. Thanks, everyone. Thank for you. Me. Bye.